I've never written a single line of code in my entire life, but I do have multiple HTML based tool websites that are all built using AI. And in this video, I'm going to show you one of those websites and I'm going to build one new tool for that website. So let's get started. It's going to be amazing. So this is the very first website that I built using AI and I used Claude to do the coding for this one. So this is basically a difference checker, text diff checker. Basically what this does is it checks the difference between two versions of a text or code. So I'm just going to show a small demo of this. So I'll just check, copy this, control C. These are two different versions of the same code. Um, so this is actually the diff checker code itself. And if I compare, this is the output that I get. It is more or less the same thing, but if you come down here, you can see that there are differences, right? And there are options like ignore the white spaces. So if there is any difference indicated because of white space over here, that will be avoided by this option. And I can also use a unified diff, meaning it will give the output in a single view itself like here you have the two different versions so the changes are visible here okay so this is what i built and so you have these options to go from light mode to dark mode and all that so it looks really nice but here's the thing this website only has this text diff option i want to add image and pdf so if i just go to image right now it's just shows coming soon. So I want to add the image diff checker now. Okay. So in this video, we're going to build this image diff checker tool. I'll go to Claude. Okay. And I will just check, actually copy the code for this website. Okay. So that because I'm going to add this into this website, I want to keep the consistency in style. So, I'm going to just copy the code from there, which is the code for this particular website. I'm going to copy that and actually paste it here in Claude. And this is the instruction that I'm giving Claude. This is my text diff check tool. The website is set up. I want to build an image diff checker as well. Use code provided for style reference so that there is consistency within the website itself. Build me an image diff checker in HTML, CSS and JavaScript. We're just going to use HTML because I know that everyone is using React and Next.js and all that because it's possible. But the fact is that when you start building some with that, if you don't know how to code, then very quickly you'll reach a point where you don't know what to do. You're just stuck and you can't go forward from there. So with HTML, you can have this code and you can actually visualize it in a much easier way. So I'm just going to use HTML, CSS and JavaScript for this. Okay, so I'll just go for it. So Claude has started to give us a code. So let's see what it comes up with. Okay, very nice. So this is more or less what I was expecting to get. So we have two blocks of images where I can click to upload the images. So I'll just click and see, well, nothing is happening right now. I am not able to upload an image. Oh yeah. So what's happened here is that, see here, this portion, this code is not complete. So if you go to the code here, you'll see that, okay, this is an incomplete code. So the entire code did not complete within one artifact. Let's do one thing. Let's say continue. Okay. So that Claude continues with the code forward. Okay. So I've given continue so that Claude can go ahead and give us the entire code. Okay. So Claude has finished coding. So if you go to uh, preview, this is what you get. This is not helpful at all. Look, we can, we know how it looks. So the design is very much visible here, but we don't know if it is working at all. So what we are going to do here is we'll go to this website, codeviewit.com. So what I'm going to do here is I'll go to the first artifact. Okay. I'm just going to copy the entire code from here. I'll see if there is anything 
unnecessary over here. I'll just copy that and I'm going to just paste that code here. Okay, let's go to the second one, second artifact and I'll just drag it up to see. Okay, fine. So let's see. For let i is equal to zero. Okay, so okay, compare that one. What we're going to do here is I'll just push it here and I'm going to copy that and paste it here because that's where it matches. So now I'll go to this toggle to see the preview and this is what it gives. So I can go to full screen if I want to and this is what it is. So I'm just going to click and I will select this dog. Okay, and nice. The dog too. I'm going to compare. And this is what, wow. This is what we get. It's beautiful, right? Okay, nice. So I can adjust the sensitivity here and that's, that's what we get. Very nice. Okay, I can reset and it has the, oh, the dark mode as well, which is fantastic. Great start to our project. So let's go to Claude and let's say the output that we get, I would consider as highlight. I want you to, to give me options like difference fade, slider, file detail, etc. And add separate buttons for that. And add separate buttons for that. Okay. So it started coding. Hmm. I mean, there are too many things that has, that has been added. So I don't want to edit the code myself. I'll just ask it to give the complete code. Okay, so give me complete code. Okay, it has made some changes to the code. I can already see that. Okay, so I can already see there are some changes, significant changes made. So let's, and it took three artifacts to give us the full code. So let's select the first artifact, copy that, and then I will go to code view it, delete this one and paste it there. Okay, did I do it right? Okay, yeah, then I will select the second one. Okay, second artifact. And I'll just drag the crawler up to see where it starts, body. Okay, I'm just going to copy that. Come here, body, yeah, that's fine. It's quite straightforward, I can just paste it there. And let's select the third one. I'm going to copy that and it's function update mode function update mode okay i can paste it here so it's not duplicating anything and let's see and this is what we get some things have changed but it has added uh, the necessary things so let's add this image here let's add the second one there uh, and let's see okay if i click on highlight differences you get this like earlier then we have the fade compare and there is an opacity changer here okay and i can move it oh nice look at this look at this portion this is working perfectly so the fade is working and then we have the slider option and can i okay the slider moves like so okay ah the slider is working like that and then there is side by side okay what does this do anyways it has given these file details here so yeah significant amount of changes so let's make this better now okay so this is my next message i don't like the fact that there is an additional slider for the slider option make the slider look like the one in the image and let's go so I told Claude to give me the full unabbreviated code and it took five different artifacts to give the full code. So anyways, I'm just going to copy one by one. I'm going to copy the first one and paste it here in, in code view it. So let's select the second one, copy that, uh, split view. Okay. Yeah. I can just paste it here without a problem. 
Uh, next would be part three. I'm going to copy that. Uh, it starts with div class view modes. Div class view modes. Okay, I can paste it here. Not a problem. And let's go to part four. Copy that. Function handle image upload. Function update file. Okay, so I'll just paste it there. And let's select the final part and copy and paste it. Let's see where function render fade compare. Okay, let's go here. Uh, function render highlight diff. Okay, that's fine. We're not repeating anything. So let's paste that there and let's preview it and see what happens. Let's bring our images. Let's bring the second image and let's go to highlight differences. This works. This has been working. Not a problem. Let's go to fade. Um, this too was working perfectly. Yeah. Okay. Um, slider. Uh huh. Okay. It's doing something. <laughs> Let's see. Um, it does the job, but there is this. Okay. Fine. And side by side is as earlier. Okay. Okay. Ah. Oh. Okay, so this solving this particular problem was really hard. So I've been working on this for some time now, actually. So I was not able to finish that problem within the single chat. So what I did, I just uh, started a new chat. Okay. Um, and it just couldn't look at this, all these things, and it just couldn't solve that problem. Okay, um, look at this. The circle doesn't line up with the slider line, whatever. So, um, so if you see here, okay, the problem was that we have this one and then we have this one. So if I just go to slider compare, look at this. This, this is separate, this is separate. I'm just trying to combine these two so that it looks fine, right? And I added a separate chat and that didn't work. We got somewhere. So I just changed the whole plan. I'm first trying to solve. I'm thinking this is happening because the image is left aligned. Look at this. It should be centered, right? This is in the left side of the output box. So let me first solve that. Let's try and center this particular um, image so that maybe this whole problem will be solved. So this is really frustrating, but what I've done, I've just copied the code here and asked Claude to find the solution rather than trying to code it. I asked it the question, explain to me what handles the original slider position. How do I align the slider line with the slider handle to align with the original slider line so that the new slider is on top of the original one. So it suggested these changes and I went in and corrected it individually. What I mean with code view with the advantage is that let's say if I have this line of code, I can go in here, put it into the search bar and it will give me where that code is. And so I was able to actually uh, manually solve that issue. And uh, this is what we get right now. So let's have a look. Let's look at this one. Then let's look at this and let's go to slider. And yeah, it changed the style and all that, but it does the job basically. So if you see, we have a single line and the slider is working. We can change the style later on. Let the function work properly. I guess that's the important thing. So it is working perfectly now. So I have the differences here. Okay, there are a few issues. We have <laughs> the slider handle is visible in highlight differences. It's there in fade. It is there, obviously it is required in slider and side by side. We need to remove all that, um, but we'll just do that in the process, I guess. So I've made significant changes to this one and corrected a lot of things, but so let's see, um, let's add this one once again. 
add this one let's see and see so i've added highlight is separate fade compare slider compare and i added something called difference which is if i just click on this we get this one it was an easy fix actually just to add that so and i removed the uh, button the separate compare and reset button i moved the reset button here so um so this is looking a lot better now okay and i think we are very very close to actually be able to finish this so one thing i really don't like here i'll just go to this one to this one and this button here upload first image upload second image this was very good in the starting when we started the project um, i really liked the way that looked so i want to make that change and let's go back to claude and um, see how we can change it okay and so I've made that change. Uh, the process is more or less the same thing. Just go back to Claude and give it instructions as to what changes you want to see. And so now it looks like this. So this is actually great. And I've also added something else that is the ability to drop the image in. So I can, let's say go in here, drop that image into this one and it works. So not just click and upload, but also drag and drop. So it is all working. So I have these things, fade working, uh, the difference is working, the slider is working, and side by side reset. Okay, so I think with this, almost everything is working perfectly. So I need to um, take this code and put it into the website. Uh, and that is a longer process I will have to so right now the code here is basically a really one single vertical code I guess that's what it's called uh, we need to modularize it so that we can add it to the website and so that is a longer process again once again I'll just put this code into Claude and ask it to just cut it down and modularize it and it will do it and by the time you watch this video diff check hub will have the active image diff checker uh, tool in the website and this is how it will look uh, so right now i've not added it to the website but i have it in my local machine so if i go to image the modularized version looks like this so i can add the uh, dog here and i can then add this one and look at that so it even scrolls down um, fade compare works like so and we have the slider it's the style of the slider has been changed, difference, side by side, and then reset. So I have added few styling changes to this so that it looks the way I want it to. But more or less the process is the same. You go back into the cloud and ask it to make certain specific changes. It took me about, um, I should say, eight to nine hours to do this. This is actually great. Use cloud and code view it together. And if you're using just HTML, CSS and JavaScript, this two things work together really well. So this is how easy it is to build and deploy a tool website. All you need to know is to give instructions in plain English and you will get the code. And you need a lot of patience, that is essential. But if you do have these two things, the ability to give instructions in English and sit through some tough moments when the AI is not giving you correct replies, so if you have a decent amount of patience, you can build apps, tools, and websites. It is no longer just for coders, but regular people like us can now build stuff. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel if you're interested in more videos like this. I'll see you in the next.